Hi there friends, Joanna here. Lots of great stuff to share with you today um, for both of, well, the first two quilts, the honeybee as well as the um, under the sea quilt. I really can't wait to share it with you and I really hope in this video, I did a little special intro, I hope that you would watch it because um, it's kind of fun, a little history and it's nice and relaxing. So, um, so let's get started. Revolutionary War, Battle of Princeton. Took place this on that field. Took place right out here in this field. Out in Princeton, Central New Jersey. Right here on the right. Beautiful horse training center here. And actually, Central New Jersey has the um, United States Equestrian tra Team Training Center out here in White House Station. I don't know the horses are now today, but very beautiful. Oh, Nana, here, let's see here. Okay. Christmas tree farm. Beautiful park. Lots of open area here in central New Jersey. So beautiful. We're so blessed to be in a nice, beautiful part of the country. Very fortunate. And this is an old sod farm right here. But the big barn that they actually fixed up was on the floor right there. They're doing the cutest little post office ever. <laughs> hay bales. Got a lot of hay bales over here. Getting ready. Alright friends, I'm at Joanne's and I definitely don't need any more fabrics. But today we are getting more fabrics border fabrics for our quilts for the twins. So let's get started. So the first thing I, first thing I always do is try and go to the remnant section. Let's see what they have. This is not really much here. Okay, so nothing really here. This is mostly canvas fabrics. I just got some um, camel and black fabrics. Always can use some of those. How cute are these little these foxes and these little squirrels are so cute. Oh my god, look how cute these little mushrooms are. Oh my goodness, love them. I think this would be a nice pattern for the border of the baby honeybee quilt. It kind of looks a little... It's got the little geometric shapes. I think that this fabric would be so cute for, as a border for the under the sea. It kind of looks like bubbles and it's not too busy because it's uh, the top is very scrappy and very busy so we wanted to something not too busy I think that just would be so cute so let's see let's look around okay we're waiting to get our fabrics cut 
Hi there friends. So this is the finished top for the under the sea quilt top. I still have to do the quilting and even everything out, but I will put the previous video for um, this quilt top, I guess you could say part one, as we got started. How fun are these little fabrics? So this is the under the sea quilt. And I want to show you what we had gotten today for the um, borders and the backing. Okay, this is the fabric that I picked. This is a cute little fabric I showed you guys. It looked like little bubbles. This is the fabric I'm going to use for the borders of my quilt. And I'm going to, for the back, I'm going to do nine inch squares so how cute are these little fishies how much fun looks like little waters so much fun and I love these little blue and white polka dots so I do have another fabric I'm going to add to this for the backing and then that'll be done for that so let me know, know what you guys think um, I think these are, are really good for that just keeping it blue right so um, let's get on to our other quilt. So a lot of you guys um, remember the, the original um, honey baby honeybee quilt for um, the triplets that my neighbor is having. I will put um, the original video to this at the end. So we have lots of fun scrappy fabrics. Um, so um, I will show you the border and backing fabric for this one. Okay, for our baby honeybee quilt, I went with this yellow fabric. It's just, I wanted it something solid because the quilt top itself is scrappy and quite busy. So I just wanted, this is just a plain yellow. It has a little bit of a design to it, but not too much. And for the backing, we're going to do the same for this one. They're, the quilts are a 40 by 50, so these are quilts that the um, babies can grow into. So I have these two little baby honeybees so sweet so we're sticking for the back with the orange and yellow and then adding a little stripe to kind of break it up a little bit right so these are the three for the back I'm probably gonna add um, you know another one to the back because I'm going to do the nine inch squares so let me know what you guys think um, give a thumbs up uh, leave a comment if you um, think that these new fabrics for the borders and the backs um, are okay what do you think um, just leave a comment and let me know what you think so this is um, for the triplets two so far so it's the baby honeybee and the under the sea and my next video we're going to reveal the um, quilt top for the um, third baby so stay tuned for that and um, thank you guys so much for watching and all of your support and um, I will be talking to you soon.